Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Mike190. Okay, today we are starting Zelda Skyward Sword. This will be a blind playthrough, and I'm saying it right now, I might die a lot, because I haven't played the game before. Anyways, uh, let's get this started. I kind of already started, but I didn't get very far. Let's call our so oh, what the hell? Okay, weird. I pressed B too many times, apparently. Whoopsie. Now let's use B. Mike. 190. There we go. Okay. Here it goes. Interesting. And there we have a island in the sky. Well, well, if it isn't. Zelda? Hmm. It sure looks like her. Rise, Mike 190. The time has come for you to awaken. You are fated to have a hand in a great destiny, and it will soon find you. The time has come for you to awaken. Mike 190. Freaky. Oh, jeez. That was interesting, alright? Link is sleeping again. What a surprise. <laughs> well, that's a reawakening. Gee, I wonder who that's from. Hey sleepyhead, I know how much you to sleep in, so I'm guessing this letter will be your alarm clock this morning. Did I guess right? Rise and shine. Today is the wing ceremony. You promised to meet me before it starts. Remember? You better not keep me waiting. Zelda. <laughs> Alright, here we are in the Knight's Academy. And our room looks pretty interesting, right? So you notice on the right hand side of the screen there's a remote and on the other side is the uh, nunchuck. No, wait, yeah, nunchuck thing. Okay, where do we go? If I remember, we have to talk to somebody. Yeah. Morning, Mike. So, today is the ring ceremony. Are you ready? All I'm saying is everyone else is 
out practicing at the plaza, but you seem pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Of course, that Crimson Lothwing of yours is something special. I'd feel pretty confident writing him too. My bird won the last ceremony, but I don't, bleh, but even I don't think he could beat that red terror of yours. Of course, a bird's true speed in a race always comes down to the skill of the rider. I'm something of a bird researcher around here, so you know, if you ever find yourself in need of some bird expertise, come see old Pivot. Okay. Uh, I think we have to go outside. Oh, and uh, you'll see a little green circle. That's our stamina bar. The game has running, and uh, if we run too much, we get tired and have to cool down. Nice bird's eye view of the village of Skyloft. Alright, let's go do this. Oh, a save statue. Might as well save. Saving in progress, do not return the power, yada yada yada, saved. Alright. Now, um, where do I go next? Oh, hey, Mike, up here. Well, hello there. Good morning to you, Mike. Today is finally the day of the long-awaited wing ceremony. Are you feeling ready? Oh, I just remembered. There is something I'd like to ask you about. Look this way while pressing and holding Z, then press A to have a quick chat with me. Excellent. Always remember you can press Z to target something. Once you have targeted someone with Z, you can easily talk to him or her by pressing A. And even with, even when there isn't anything to target, pressing Z is a convenient way to quickly face your view forward. Oh, but it's a little silly to carry on a conversation from the distance. Why don't you come join me up here? You should be able to climb up if you dash up to the top of that wooden box, don't you think? Move while holding A to dash, you should be able to make that jump fairly easily. Try climbing up here. Alright. Um, let's get a little better view. And run. And there we go. I gotta say, Link runs really weird in this game. So, what do you think? Use A to dash is useful, isn't it? However, don't dash around so much that you tire yourself out, or your stamina gauge will empty and you'll be completely out of breath. It's best to take a little break when your stamina gauge gets close to empty. Got all that? On to the next point. You can jump a short distance like this just by moving toward it. I like to call it the auto jump. Ah yes, auto jump. It just has a nice ring to it. And here we are. Talk. So, what are you up to? Rushing to get to some last minute bird riding practice this morning? Oh? You have someone to meet? Ah, Zelda's waiting for you, isn't she? Is she? Perfect timing then. You see, Zelda's father, Headmaster Gapora, has a pet named Mia, and, well, she scampered off again. Look! Over there, do you see her? The Headmaster is so busy working with Zelda preparing for the ceremony. I thought that maybe I should feed her, but the ceremony is about to start, and I just put on a fresh set of clothes. And, well, you see, will you help me out and go retrieve her? Ah, oh, fine. Fantastic, so you do it? I know you're in a hurry, so I really appreciate you taking the time to help. You should be able to climb up somewhere over there. If you hang off the ledge there, you can climb onto the roof from the other side. I'm terribly sorry, but I know you're quite the climber. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I feel like I'm, uh, I'm playing Assassin's Creed or whatever. Remember how I could always climb on uh, ledges like this? There we go. Yep. Head up the vines. Oh yeah, you can leap too. That's pretty. It's pretty uh, useful. Oh, hey. I don't care how good a jumper you think you are. You'll never reach a roof that high just pressing A to dash. There should be a wooden box up there. Grab and move one with A and use it as a platform of sorts. You can climb onto a platform by pressing A to dash or pressing forward for a few moments. Okay. Eh, no, there we go. No, nope. bad link. There we go. 
Apparently we got six hearts. Come on. Wait, oh yeah, I forgot. Derp. There we go. Yeah, so we got six hearts. Versus three or whatever. Wee. Alright. Man, that is one weird looking cat thing. I had no idea what it is. It's like a monkey cat. Uh, crap. How do I get over there? Oh, there he is. Nice work. You brought her back safe and sound. Sorry for troubling you with this. I know you're a busy, Mike. I suppose I should feed Mia now. Please, tell the headmaster that we found his pet. He should be up by the statue of the goddess. Can I go now? I believe Zelda is there with him, so you should hurry along. Oh yeah, uh, there are these fruits around. Called stamina fruits. This peculiar fruit replenishes your stamina gauge. So yeah, as it would suggest, it helps your stamina go back up. See? And there is Zelda. Pretty Zelda. Mm, excuse me. Jeez. Oh, youth, guided by the servant of the goddess, unite earth and sky. Bring light to the land. Hello. Hey, good morning, Mike. Damn. I'm glad to see my loft wing got you out of bed. Yeah, thanks for that. I was pretty sure you'd be, you, yeah, you sleep in and forget to meet me at this morning. <laughs> but look at this instrument. Look at this outfit. They're mine to use today in the ceremony, since I'll be playing the role of the goddess. Aren't they beautiful? Especially this instrument. They tell me it's just like the one the goddess was said to have in the legends. It sounds gorgeous, too. I asked father about it, and he says it's called a harp. And look at these clothes. I made these. I made this wrap myself, and we get to use it in the, today's ceremony. Between the harp and this outfit, I'm going to make a great goddess today. I got you up early this morning because I wanted you to be the first to see me like this, Mike. So how do I look? Hmm. Nice costume. Uh. Ah, great. Huh. I think so too. But it's nice to know you agree. Thanks. Ah, there you are, Zelda. Are you all pre prepared for today's ceremony? Oh, hello, Father. Ah, Mike, you're here too. Outstanding. It's encouraging to see you up so early, given your capacity for sleep. No doubt today's ceremony had you excited to close. Had you too excited to close your eyes for once? If you win today's ceremony race, you get to pr participate in the post-race ritual with Zelda. So give it your best out there. Yes, about that. Father, I don't know if you can do it. Recently, Mike hasn't been practicing much at all for the ceremony. <laughs> Poor Link. <laughs> and even when he's out riding his loft wing, he's just lazily gliding around, probably daydreaming. I don't know what he's thinking. He's gonna be he's gonna have to be in perfect control of his bird to win today. No need to worry yourself, Zola. Though you may have a point, today's wing ceremony tests the skill of the rider as well as the bond to his bird. Victory will not come easily. And, as you pointed out, I haven't seen him practicing as hard as some of the other students. But you've known him since you were both very little. You should know better than to fret about him. You see, Mike and his offlink share a special connection. I've never seen anything quite like it. As you know, each of us in Skyloft is but one half of a pair. We are only made whole by our loft wings, the guardian birds, the goddess yeah, the goddess bestows upon each of us as a symbol of her divine protection. When we are young, every one of us meets our loft wing under the great statue of the goddess. It's quite a big moment, as I am sure you recall. 
Ah, but that first meeting between Mike and his left wing was extraordinary. The bird came up to him. The bird that came to him was a crimson left wing. It's a breed so rare we were sure we were for sure yeah, we were sure for some time that it had vanished from the line. Yes, and the boy and his bird seemed to share a profound connection from the moment they met. Do you recall when Mike and the offering of his first met? What a sight! The little boy just hopped up on that bird and gracefully flew away, without even a moment of instruction. They were meant for each other. And judging by how jealous you were that day, I see the friendship he shared with his bird didn't go unnoticed by you, my dear. Man, yeah, what is Link doing? Ah, oh, but who can blame you? I'm sure you weren't the only one envious of the power of Bond shared by Mike and his bird. Anyone who's a part of something special is Bond to catch some nasty looks sooner or later. Ho oh, oh. ho. This contest is nothing to laugh at. Um, this contest is nothing to laugh at, Father. This ceremony is part of the final test for those trained to become Knights of Skyloft. If Mike Mike doesn't fly fast enough during the race, what if Mike messes up? His big chance. What if he's not allowed to become a knight? Ooh. Calm down, my dear. It'll be fine. Honestly, it's almost as though you have become a completely different person when you worry about Mike. Listen, Mike, you better fly your heart out today. At the very least, you need to squeeze in a little practice time before the race. Uh-oh. Come on, you'll thank me later. Uh-oh. Here we are. Go on now. Jump off the ledge and call your loft wing. It's almost time for the ceremony, so try to practice seriously for once. Hmm? Oh, yeah? You can't sense your burnout out there? Oh, I get it. You're trying to weasel out of having to practice. Nice try. But you're not fooling me. Off you go! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, Mike, go ahead. Just press down and call your off wing. I didn't do anything. Uh oh. Not good. Mm -hmm. Hmm. This bird sure is taking a long time to get here. <laughs> Something's wrong! <laughs> Man, that is just so badass to be able to jump off an island in the sky and get on a bird. That would be so awesome to do in real life. Hang in there, Mike. I've got you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Man, Zelda is crazy. Are you two alright? Aw, oh, poor birdie. I'm sorry, friend. I didn't mean to push you so hard. You didn't sprain your wing, did you? This is very odd, Mike. What could have possibly happened to your loft wing? For a bird to ignore the call of his master, it's unheard of. And you still can't sense your bird nearby, eh, Mike? This is quite a problem, especially considering the wing ceremonies is about to start. Mike, when you said you couldn't sense your loft wing, well, I should have believed you. I'm sorry. Yeah, you should have, Zelda. I need to tend to my own loft wing, so I'll catch up with you later. You better go on ahead and see if you can ca find your where your bird is gone. Right then. A bell? What could that mean? My, how did it get to be so late? If I recall correctly, this year, Instructor Horwell is pre is presiding over the ceremony. Mike, you should go explain the situation to him and see if he is willing to delay the race a little so that you can find your bird. But Father, you're the headmaster of the academy. If Mike asks Instructor Horwell, he'll probably just come to you and talk about it. Oh, quite true. As usual, you make an excellent point, my dear. Very well. I'll explain the situation to him myself. Mike 190, run I mean, Mike, run along and tell Instructor Horwell to come see me in my quarters. Fun. Yes, so if you guys want me to 
to say what they're saying, let me know in the comments. Um, also, if you want if you want me to give them little accents, also let me know. And I do mean especially for the girls as well, because doing a girl ac uh, girl voice is not my, my strong points. Oh, need a fruit, need a fruit. There it is, good. Uh, oh, there he is over there. Hello. No. What's wrong, Mike? You're looking a bit pale. What? Your offering is missing. How strange and troubling. Do you think you can find him? You're going to start looking for him now? How will you make it back in time to fall in the ceremony? It looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on Feather. Or not, you can find that bird on time. Wait, what? Ah, what a joke. <laughs> Very funny. <coughs> Excuse me. I see. So the headmaster has summoned me. Alright then, I'll go speak with them immediately. I still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your loft wing. Hmm, I wonder if you didn't if you didn't time to help Um I don't know, I blanked I derped. Anyways, um ignore her. She's not important. If I remember correctly, there's a guy in here that we can talk to about the bird. Uh, where is he? Where'd he go? Oh, I think he's downstairs. Do 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 do. Yeah, this is where he is. Up oh, there he is. You're not still wandering around the academy, are you? What? Your law fling won't come to you when you call for it. I would a guardian bird not come when it's called. You know, I've never heard of this ever happen before, so I can't even tell you what you're doing wrong. But a good senior never hangs the underclassmen out to dry. We'll figure this out together. You go to the plaza and ask people there if they know anything. In the meantime, I'll ask around. Thanks, buddy. Alright. I wonder if this is the right way. Um, first things first. Save. Okay, okay. Saved. Goody. Alright. On to the next one. I mean, wait, wait, wait. I don't know. I, I was derping. Hold up, Mike. Hey, hey, Mike. Could you help me out with something? All I have to do is use a dash and roll into the tree. Just like I've been doing. Dash, then shake the nunchuck when you're in front of a tree to BAM! Do a roll right into it. So come on, please! Ugh, oh, whatever. Whoa! You did it! A sky stag beetle! Wait up! Boys will be boys. Alright, where am I going? I think over here. Oh, cutscene. Oh, look at this. You know, Grease, that sure was a pain with all the scratching and pecking. Of course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was going to go down without a fight? But we got him. I don't care how those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. And he is fugly. Whoa, Mike. So, uh, yeah, just how long you been standing there? What's your problem anyway? Oh wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, oh Goose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today, please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> oh jeez. Well, sorry pal, Goose doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice, work hard and wish with all your heart. He might even come in second. Sir, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain I can use all his clouds that got lost? <laughs> Give him back. Bring it on. 
<laughs> sure, only thing is, I don't know how you're gonna do that with no bird. You wanna grow wings? You, wait, you know, we're all getting tired of you how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honor academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? Oh, uh, Zelda. Hey, nah, it's, uh... Uh-oh. Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on Mike again, aren't you? He's a student at the academy, like all of us. No. Why do you and some bullying him around so much? Yeah, uh, suppose. You suppose? You suppose what? <laughs> I suppose, uh, you, er. Uh... <laughs> what is he doing? Forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Mike. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna set today's set out today's race. That could be a major setback to our knighthood. Or yeah, so find that bird, or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. That wasn't gay or anything. That's um position he was in. I don't know. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect those black blockheads had something to do with your law funk's disappearance. Like, those guys aren't gonna help us find your bird, so we better help start searching. Gee, a thing, Zelda. I'll fly around the sky off and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he talked to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't worry. I'll find your bird in time. And there she goes. Okay, this is a perfect time to pause and come back for part two. Enjoy, guys.